It's Tuesday trend day again, and I got 10 more Redbubble trends for you with low competition. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts, a channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you'd like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I got 10 more new red bubble trends for you, all with low competition. You're gonna wanna stay to the end so you can see all 10 trends as well as all 10 of them in one list so you can take a snapshot and uh, use that for your to-do list for this week as well as another edition of Trend Credits. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So here's your trend number one, born on Pi Day. You can see it has the trend lines right here. Only has 313 results. Here's the idea board I made for you for born on Pi Day. You can see I took a lot of those tags, I put them here. Other ideas you could do for Pi Days are other birthday designs, so born on whatever other holiday, those can be good. Other Pi Day sayings, we saw a lot of those in the bestsellers, and other math designs, so uh, target your audience towards people that love math. Different ways to draw Pi, you have the symbol, of course, and then you can do it uh, in different ways uh, with the numbers in Pi, so Pi sayings like Apple Pi, Cutie Pi, Pi Ret, that kind of thing, Pi a la mode. If you're really creative, you could create one of your own that's not there and maybe uh, get a lot of sales that way. So Born on Pi Day, that is your trend number one. So trend number two here is Bunny with Glasses, only 309 results. And these are the best sellers right here. So these can make really good stickers. I think they would be really great for stickers, especially for Easter, but uh, year round, I think. Not a lot of tags here, but I got some tags for you on the idea board. Just let's take a look at these first. Uh, this is your competition. Lots of different ways to draw glasses and lots of different ways to draw bunnies. So you can make yours original. Don't forget to, uh, if you're gonna do a sticker, don't do white text here so you can see that's happening there so here's your idea board for bunny with glasses you can see I got your 15 product tags right here that are relevant to bunny with glasses other ideas you could do with the bunny once you have it is other bunny sayings other Easter designs and uh, you can try different animals with different glasses that could be something too so I got that right there animals with glasses you can see there's lots of different ways to draw bunnies lots of different ways to draw glasses and to combine them I really like this like real bunny with real glasses. That can be really cool. That could be a really cool sticker actually. And hopefully yours will stand out above the rest and get some sales. So for trend number three, I have Mississippi Neanderthals. You can see right here, only 299 results. And these are the best selling products with that tag. So you can see American Neanderthals is also trending, Texas Neanderthals. So Neanderthals is one of those things that's trending right now. So you can see a, a lot of different products with it on. So here's the idea board for Mississippi Neanderthals. You can see I have the 15 product tags here. So other ideas you could do is Texas Neanderthals. You've seen that one. Uh, other political humor sayings. Neanderthal thinking is something that President Biden said. So you can see that this is really popular. Um, right now and there's some other political humor stuff that you could do. Think of other Biden sayings that you could do for products. Uh, here are some graphics, just the outline of the state of Mississippi, uh, different ways to do that. Uh, cavemen or Neanderthals, you can use that. And uh, another graphic I didn't see in the best selling are petroglyphs. So that's another thing you could try and do to stand out. Think of different ways that your design could stand out for this trend, Mississippi Neanderthal. So for trend number four, I have this ADHD is awesome. You can see only 199 results. These are the different best-selling products here. So you can see mostly text. Uh, I think you can come in here and do something better, uh, especially with my idea board. Let's take a look at that. So here's the idea board I made for you to help you stand out from what you've seen in the bestsellers. Here are the 15 product tags that you can use. Uh, other ideas, just think of other ADHD design ideas, other disorders that you can uh, design for. ADHD is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, um, but you can do other ones as well. And of course, once you figure out some nice design for this, you could do other things that is awesome, right? Blank is awesome. So 
Here are some other ideas for ADHD. Uh, there's lots of graphics you could use like with the brain and the mind. Uh, you could do ADHD in a nice way. So here you can see uh, just in a graphical way ADHD with the colors and different fonts. Uh, and also just different words that describe ADHD. You can see here in uh, other ways to do it. So those are some ideas. Of course, think of your own ways that you can do it to make your stand out. Right now it's mainly text for this design. So think of graphics or different ways that you can make your text stand out. So this is your trend number five. We are the granddaughters of witches, only 156 results. And these are the best selling products for this trend. You can see a lot of text, some graphics. So think of graphics that go well with this. Uh, here's take a look at some of your competition here. This is really cool with the hat. So you want, want to do something better than that. Witches, of course, uh, moons stars that kind of thing here's the idea board i made for you to help you out with this trend uh, 15 product tags of course witches wizards those kinds of things other ideas you could do once you create this design are other witch sayings uh, think about dark art designs if you've seen my video about that and cauldron and spells uh, think of different ways that you can do that with like a cauldron and maybe put different witch spells in there i think that would be a good idea Different ways you can draw witches, right? You can do the cutesy thing, the silhouette thing, and there's lots of different graphics that represent magic and things like that. So cauldron we talked about, uh, witch's wand, hand, those kinds of things. And then uh, these are just some design styles um, for witches, uh, granddaughters of witches, so mainly for uh, women. You can see um, really cool how they incorporate the graphics with the text. And usually the text have some kind of like handwritten uh, looking font. So think about that. So this is your trend number five. We are the granddaughters of witches. So here's your trend number six, Little Miss Shenanigans. You can see only 150 results and we're looking at the best selling here. So t-shirts, masks, uh, pillows, lots of those kinds of things. Uh, I know St. Patrick's Day is coming up really quick. So if you design these right, I think they will sell even beyond uh, St. Patrick's Day. So Little Miss Shenanigans, you can see the competition here. And as well as for next year, so you can get ahead for next year. So here's the idea board for this trend. You can see the 15 product tags, uh, Party Girl, those kinds of things. Uh, Lucky One, Made in Ireland. Other ideas here are St. Patrick's Day sayings, so other ones besides Little Miss Shenanigans and Shenanigans sayings. There's so many of those out there too, so think of different ways. Uh, I have some right here. When do the shenanigans start, right? So uh, Ireland sayings as well, so I put some of those graphics here to remind you of that. Uh, different ways that you can draw um, leprechauns or things uh, have to do with St. Patrick's Day and maybe a female leprechaun like that. And these are some other St. Patrick Day ideas. You can see a lot of the green and the clovers and stuff and, and Ireland too, so. So here's trend number seven, April showers bring May flowers, only 136 results, so super low competition. And here are your best selling ones, uh, lots of flowers, umbrellas, um, just the phrase, April showers bring May flowers, that's a good one too. Here's a play on the word, uh, Mayflower, you know, that's kind of neat. And patterns, those kinds of things. So think of different ways. You don't have to have the whole phrase on your shirt or your design when you do this, but think of different ways you can do it. You can see here, no words on this one and still can use that April showers thing. So here's the idea board I made for you. April showers bring May flowers, the 15 product tags. You know, you got umbrella here and things for April and May and... Uh, floral things. Uh, think of other rainy day sayings. Uh, think of other flower designs that you could do. Think of other spring designs. It's getting to be spring, so lots of flowery kind of ideas that you could do here. So um, right here, showers, there's different ways to do that with cloud and rain and umbrellas. Um, flowers, there's lots of different ways to do flowers. You can kind of mash those up. And don't forget about the trend with the flowers, the spring trend that I showed on one of my videos. You can do it that way too. So April showers bring May flowers. That is your trend. So trend number eight is 
blame my therapist. You can see here only 95 results. And we're looking at the best selling products right here on Redbubble for this trend. Uh, the couch is a good one, uh, but a lot of them are just text. So if you can think of a graphic to put with the text, I think you'll do really well. So look at these right here, some of the ideas. So this one's a really challenging one. This is the idea board I made. Uh, the 15 product tags were kind of tough. Uh, there's things you could do here, maybe different therapy puns and sayings, different counseling quotes. Um, maybe blame it on my blank instead of therapist, gardener or doctor or whatever. Um, so you can see there's some graphics that go with therapists, mostly someone leaning in a couch or listening or um, maybe for blame. I was thinking pointing. I blame this person or that person, you know, pointing. Uh, and there's some other therapy ideas that you can do here. So wine is cheaper than therapy. Uh I don't need therapy, I just need to make quilts. Those are some other uh, therapy sayings that you could do uh, as well as this one. So blame my therapist. Uh, it's a tough one. Try and do this one. If you do it well, you're going to stand out because I, I think this one's a tough one for everyone and you'll see mostly text and the bestsellers. So blame my therapist is trend number eight. So for trend number nine, I have, I got a secret big sister, only 86 results, so sub 100 results. And these are the best selling products here. You can see a lot of these look the same from the same designer, uh, but there's some other ones here. Uh, I got a secret big sister. Take a look at the competition here. Some of them aren't big sister, they're just, I got a secret, but uh, the I got a secret big sister is the trend, so. Think of big sister, those kinds of things. I'm gonna be a big sister, that kind of thing. So here's the idea board I got. Here are the 15 product tags here. Uh, other ideas you could do is big sister sayings and big brother sayings, other uh, baby sayings. Uh, think of different graphics you can do for big sister, little sister. You can see your big sister now here, a world's best sister, things like that. Uh, you can draw little girls or girls like that, or you can just use text, you can see here. So some of these are using really nice script fonts right here, or just nice big letters, uh, big, bold, colorful letters can also be used for this kind of trend. Uh, I got a secret big sister is trend number nine. So here's the last trend, trend number 10, living my okayest life. You can see only 67 results, so super, super low uh, competition. These are the best selling. You can see this one as well, mostly text design. So you can break into this one pretty easy uh, if you're doing some graphics and things like that. So uh, think of different ways that you can do to uh, stand out here, living my okayest life. So look at the competition, make sure you're not copying it and make sure yours is better than these. So here's the idea board I made for you to help you with this trend, 15 product tags here. Lots of okay life, mediocre stuff, meh, that kind of average thing. So um, you can also think of different ideas for this. Instead of living my okayest life, just think of okayest blank, okayest brother, okayest ping pong player like you see here. Or world's okayest, that's also something that's uh, really popular. Or just okay, uh, average, usual, most okay kind of thing. So you can see here. Some of the graphics is when you do okay, you have the, like the fingers like okay, or you can do kind of this like meh kind of looking thing. It's just all uh, right, eh. Or um, world okayest ping pong player or most okayest mom or world's okayest brother, those kinds of things you can see uh, ideas for that as well. So uh, use these to kind of brainstorm your ideas on how you would do this different and stand out uh, this is the last trend, trend number 10, living my okayest life. So here are all 10 trends. Uh, this is the time you can take a snapshot and use this for your to-do list for this week. So a lot of good ones here. If I were to do one, I think I'd love to do the bunny with glasses. I think that one would be good. Let me know in the comments which one you think you would do first or which one you like the best of this week. Love to hear that. Uh, thanks so much for watching and your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying till the end for this trend. Here is your trend, side parts and skinny jeans. You can see lots of different ways to do it here. Uh, mostly text, but you can see low BSRs, very low BSRs. 
and Merch Informer, it's getting an A, so you know it's good. If you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description. Uh, you can check it out. Merch Informer does give you a lot of different things here, checking trademarks and keywords and competition and trends, of course. So uh, this is your trend for this video. Side parts and skinny jeans. Take a look at the competition. Make sure yours is different than that and stand out from here. So... Um, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you thought this video is really helpful, make sure to give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.